Good evening, passionate BMW ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. My name is Hosni, and this is sorry. My name is PJ, and this is Hosni. A bit too much wine, I think. <laughs> Can't help it. It's so good, boss. You guys know how good the wine is, right? So, Hosni and I's goal is to um, share some of our feature holes, give you some tips that will help you play a better score, and perhaps be the champion. Okay. And also, if you need some tips on the course in South Africa, normally the course where they play is at Fan Court. That's my home course. That's where I grew up. So if you need tips, I know the course like the back of my hand. Sounds like a plan, Mr. Han. PJ, do you want to volunteer as a caddy for the winner? No, I'll be a caddy. I can be a caddy as well. Right, so a little bit about the, the golf course. When Ernie redesigned, uh, to like that guy, of course, then he took out all the bunkers, right? Now, why would you do such a freakish thing? There's so few golf courses in the world with no bunkers. But he thought golf is difficult enough, especially with the layout that we have, with sharp dog legs, it's challenging enough, right? So, Hosni, what are your thoughts on the course? Well, uh, the course is not fairly long, but, uh, if you're a street hitter, you'll be safe. Uh, you want to be on the fairway most of the time, so you have a better chance to approach the green. So, yeah, keep it simple, keep it straight. <laughs> Come on, Austin. The game's not that easy. Right? No. So, there's normally two categories, right? If you're a short hitter, you like it to be straight. If you're a long hitter, the game is fair. You're going to be erratic, you're going to be heading into the forest and so forth. So, for those bombers, it might be good advice tomorrow to hit a couple of hybrids, to hit a couple of three wheels off the tee, because you might find yourself driving through the fairway, um, like I do when I do the, when I play the course. Anyway, can we, um, Nana, can we get the video started, please? So we have a video presentation that will help you um, see the layout of the course, especially for those players who didn't get the opportunity to play today. But happy and good. Austin, what's our first feature hole? Can you remember? It's hole number seven. It's called a Tulok Data. It's a par five. We have a double dog leg. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, actually, that's a five shot there already. <laughs> This guy. Right guys, if you keep your eyes on the screen, it's a double dog leg first towards the right and then again to the left. I teed off with a hybrid in the middle of the fairway, which means I need to hit a second shot with the hybrid as well. Drawing. Bosni, the bomber will be here. He hugged the right side of the fairway, which meant he could go for the green. He did, right? Which meant he only had a short chip shot for his next that's my third from a long distance. I played an average play, which so left me with a long birdie putt. Hosni going in aggressive with the three wood for the second half his drive. He had a short chip, which left him with a short birdie putt. This is me cleaning up. Didn't make my bar. I didn't make my birdie, but I made my par. So Hosni had a short birdie putt. No, no. Oh. That was supposed to be his birdie. Didn't make it. Hosni was such a short putt. He was supposed to have taken the aggressive lines. I got distracted by you. Okay, next. Makake Mana. Austin and I took a, a small club to hit off. Nana, can we stop the video at this point? Right. Just to give you, this is one of the scoring opportunities, right? The ninth hole, Makake Manor. Austin, why is it called Makake Manor? Uh, the name of the, the monkey there. 
<laughs> exactly, the monkeys. So guys, tomorrow, while dining, while eating on the golf course, right, watch out for those sneaky monkeys, right? We do have a indigenous species, what's that called? I, I can't pronounce it there. Dusky leaf. Dusky leaf, that's right. They're cute, right, beautiful face, right? They look like they're wearing a mask. They are, they're passive, that's okay. Whereas the other monkeys, watch out for them. They will, if you leave your golf cart with food on it, they'll run, they will, they will crash it. Also, watch out for the jewelry, they'll take it, especially on this hole. Okay, there's a big scoring opportunity for the bombers. It's quite wide, slight dog leg to the right. Um, so I thought I would hit my driver for once. My average driving distance is 285 yards, roughly. So on this course, I tend to keep it in the bag because I often run out of fairway. Whereas over here, I took the driver and uh, had a clear shot into the green. Now no, let's roll the video to see what happened. Mostly taking a conservative play, uh, ended up on the right hand side of the fairway, leaving him a long approach shot. It ended up short to the green. It's an open green, no bunkers protecting the hole, so you can be aggressive when attacking the pin. I was hoping Horsley would miss, but he tapped in for an easy bar in the end. So now we are at number 13. Is the dog leg left far four? It's called the harmony. If you want to be a little bit aggressive, you can aim to the left of the fairway and it will leave you about 100 yards in. Am I correct, Vijay? Absolutely. However, you have to draw the ball. Okay? If you can stop the video in two seconds time, Nana. Lovely. Okay, so for the Bombers, if you're able to hit it 290 yards or plus, it's a must that you draw the ball, okay? And visually, right now, so I'm going to use the screen, sorry for the people. So the branches on the left-hand side, it looks as if the fairway, this, it looks as if you're dead if you draw it left. However, again, if you can draw the ball, hit the ball 300 yards or even 290, very doable, right? Um, you'll be in the middle of the fairway. However, what do you notice about the layout of this hole? Towards the green, it's a severe downhill. I was on that downhill, I did it so slow. Horsne, with his severe slope on the right hand side, it's a deep rough couldn't even hit the green from 120 yards. Couldn't even hit the yeah. green, Another thing that I want to add, when you add a severe slope, it's better to keep your, your legs. <laughs> that was my birdie putt, and... No, it did not go in. It just ended up short. That's what happens when you don't pass the hole. It will come back to you. Okay, the 16th hole named Paradise Found. Ladies and gentlemen, this is stroke index 2 on the back line, meaning the most difficult hole. Okay, don't do the mistake which I did, which is aim straight down the middle of the fairway with my driver. I ended up going through the fairway, leaving myself with a very difficult shot as the branches on the left was blocking me from going towards the hole. Mr. Hosni over here, he shaped the ball, needle it to the apex, which left him with a clear shot towards the green. That was my attempt at a hook around the trees. Mostly with his lovely rhythm, landed the green. I didn't make the green, so I had to clean up with a beautiful chip for this next shot. Next, we have Andaman Shores. 
So under my shoulders, ladies and gentlemen, this is my demon hole. PJ actually hit it a few times to the ocean. <laughs> and, and Every single time. time. This is my demon hole here, so I've hit into the, the underman sea a couple of times, so hence, on this occasion, I made sure I wasn't in the water. I didn't want to get caught on video getting into the water, so I kept it left. However, my short game is hot. So no problem. <laughs> I was hoping Hosty would miss his part, but, but he made it. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's our tips for this evening. Thank you for allowing us the opportunity. Thanks for those who attended the short and skill challenge and the coaching today. We hope you enjoyed it. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you very much, PJ and Hosni.